seam finishing now seam finishing is used where we can't stitch okay in earlier videos we have seen how to do seaming how to do stitching okay either by machine or hand in this video we'll be learning how to give seam finishing seam finishing is used to give edge finishing okay for that take 10 by 10 sample okay you have selvage or you don't have don't worry just come in by one centimeter from either side okay one like this and again fold one centimeter that means fold two times just pass your finger your nail okay and from opposite side repeat the same one and then one okay if you have iron at home please use iron iron sample is ready okay those who don't have iron they can use touch me pins or beaded pins okay in that area so that it will not open and you can work easily okay now let's start for which you, you will be requiring needle and thread with a matching color okay so base fabric and for the base fabric you select the color right now i'm having pink color i'm going to use light pink color this point this is my starting point okay from this point go up by point 3 distance take one or two yarn like this and come out from the whole line take your thread out yeah after this just repeat again from this point consider this is your starting point come ahead at point 3 distance again take your base fabric okay a yarn from a base fabric and come out from the fold line again go up and come out from the fold line See, you will see diagonal lines which are forming because from this point we are not going horizontally we are going slightly up so this diagonal line formation is very important and for which you need to maintain the distance you just can't jump at one centimeter or you know not even 0.5 centimeter 0.3 centimeter is sufficient 0.3 centimeter that means less than half centimeter just take your thread out and repeat this process till the end for this you can just avoid all this okay and remove extra threads and slowly slowly take your thread can you see diagonal lines okay complete this till this point and knot it here
this is your wrong side okay on the wrong side you will see all the diagonal lines and this is your right side where you will see tiny tiny dot that too just not visible to your open eyes okay so your work should be so finer that your thread shouldn't be visible from the right side okay and just continue working till this point i will show you how to end it One more stitch here like this okay now after this we need to finish now take just besides this take two three yarns turn your thread one two three three to four times and take your needle out your locking is done now you need to cut this thread but for the finishing what we'll be doing We'll just pass a needle from this hole and can you see my needle? Wait. See my needle is here. Okay. So I'm just slipping my needle in. I'm just slipping my needle in and randomly I'm taking my needle out. fabric that means from this point from where your needle has come out from that point just slip your needle in see I'm just slipping my needle in okay and come out at point seven Here you can see all the diagonal 
from wherever you're coming out from that same point from that same hole you just slip your needle in okay and take your needle out add it up and just continue working Your slip stitch is done.